Hello there, I'm here and I'm back with some more Computecraft. Today I'll do a small tutorial dedicated to events in Computecraft. Now I'm sure most of you are familiar with the function os.pullEvent. And this is the bare basics about using events. Uh, but I'm going to go a bit further than that. Now, when you use os.pullEvent, it will freeze the computer and it will wait until anything happens. And by anything I mean it will wait until an event happens like you press on the keyboard, you use your mouse, uh, the state of redstone changes by the computer, anything. And in this case, we there's a key argument, a uh, key event, and the function will return two arguments, which are first of all the name of the event, and then an extra argument, which is the well, basically which key you pressed. In this case, it was enter, which is number twenty-eight. Then what do we have? Let's. Use the simple event again. Let's use a mouse this time. It's the event mouse click. Three other arguments. First of all, which button you press? So it can be one, two, or three, I believe. Uh, one is for the left mouse anyway. And the two other arguments are the x and y coordinates, coordinates of the mouse on the screen. What you can do also is you add an an argument in where you add yeah an argument in the simple event and you put the name of, of an event. In this case I'm putting key, just for example, and it will filter the, all the events. That means it will only take into account specific events, uh, like in this case I put key. That means when I run the thing, right now I'm spamming, spamming my mouse, you can't even see that, but yeah, I'm spamming it and nothing is happening. The only event which will be taken into account will be the the key event. And yeah. Now what if I told you you can actually create your own events? To do so you use a function called os.qEvent. I won't uh, specifically use it right now. I'm just going to show you which arguments you put in. So first of all you put the name of the event. Like that. Then you can add as many, well maybe not as many, but I think you can add up to five arguments after that. And those will be some extra data concerning, well, about the events. Like you can put some x coordinates, y coordinates, or if whatever you want. So it can be numbers, it can be strings, it can be even table, I believe. Could be anything. Now, now for a proper demonstration about creating events, I'm going to show you a little program I made, which is called MW. And basically, oh. Yeah, mouse scroll, cool. Uh, but basically it will detect whatever event you do, and the program will stop when you do a key event. But it can also detect a new event I created, which is mouse double click. And to do so I used a... I made a class, so an object I called mouse watcher. So MW, you know. And basically what it does, it will check the, di well, the time between two mouse clicks, and then it will see if it's well, something like lower than 5 milliseconds so a few milliseconds anyway that's about, that sounds about right but yeah it will detect double clicks it's still a work in progress because there are probably some more events I can add uh, for instance I want to improve the mouse drag event because it would be useful for IMFOS anyway but yeah that's pretty much pretty much all so let's actually see how MW works. First of all, MW, which is a tiny program, it uses MouseWatch, which is another file. Now, first thing you do is you load the IPI MouseWatch, uh, which contains the object MouseWatch, of course. Then you create a new object MouseWatch by doing MouseWatch.new and you store it in a variable. And there you just repeatedly use OS.pull event until you get the event key. And what you can do, in fact, is you use mw colon check event, which is the only function so far of a uh, mouse watch. What it will do is that it will analyze the um, event you actually use or you created, and doing so, it will uh, kind of, let's say, it will analyze the mouse events more specifically. And if you do a double click, it will create the new event by doing os.q event and it has three arguments it has the, well first of all 
No, four arguments, in fact. It's uh, the same argument as mouse click. So, yeah. Now, let's check out mouse watch. Uh, just for a little comparison. Mouse watch is a bit like um, in JFrame in Java. Well, for those who actually know what I'm talking about, basically, um, in JFrame, which is a library in Java, you can actually create um, some windows and whatever you want, some applications. And to analyze uh, mouse events, you can create a class called Mouse Listener, which will analyze the events and um, react accordingly, I suppose. So it's kind of a it is kind of similar uh, the way it well maybe not the way it works but anyway whatever happened uh, this is this is it so let's edit mouse watch there we go uh, it's a normal object it has a list of functions so far there's only one we have a meta table and we have a function new which is to actually properly create the the object now. The important function is check event. It has uh, four arguments because there are only four needed, which are the event, and the three arguments which are usually for mouse event, the button, and the x and y coordinates. Now, then what it does basically is that it will first of all check the five first letters of the event, and if it's mouse, that means it's a mouse event. You can continue. If it's more specifically a mouse click event, then it will do the magic and check if it's uh, if it's a double click. To do so, it actually checks if there is time or if a time since last click is lower than this. So this is computer craft time. It's a bit weird, so I can't really say. And also, it will check if the previous button you pressed is the same as the press or button you press currently. If all those conditions all meet. Then use the it uses a function os.qevent with four arguments. First of all, it will have the name of the end, mouse click, or mouse double click, and then a1, a2, a3, which are three arguments given here. And then, uh, whatever happens if it's a mouse event, it will update uh, the mouse status. So it will, uh, it will indicate what the previous button is and what the previous x and y coordinates are. Also, it will, ch it will store the time of the last click. So yeah, that's pretty much all uh, for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please take the time to like, comment, subscribe. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in getting Mouse Watch. And if you have any ideas, comments, whatever goes through your mind, let me know in the comment section. And since this is the end, I'll be saying goodbye and see you next time.